y'all. So, <sighs> got a rainy day. Yeah, decided to take some time to chill. Let everything catch up. So I figure while I'm here, I was going to have me a quick lunch. And you know uh, what fun it can be traveling. You always carry you something to snack on. Well, I'm one of those weird people. I carry MREs. <laughs> so what I've got here is a 2016 meatballs and marinara sauce. I realized after listening to everybody smoking, everybody talk about them, I have never actually had a meatballs and marinara sauce meal. Don't know why, I just never had one. So, figure we'll give it a try. Unfortunately, this is a 2016, which means it's still got the mashed potatoes, but I got some seasoning put aside just for those, just in case. So, to begin, let's pop these suckers out and see what we got. All right, and the peel's messing with me. There it goes. All right, this is an Ameriqual, which means that it's got the inner bag as well. Let's pop this bad boy open. All right, so the first thing coming out of the top, meatballs and marinara sauce. Next thing, garlic mashed potatoes. Got us an oatmeal cookie. Huh, that's a new. Got some turkey nuggets. Had chicken nuggets, I ain't never had no turkey nuggets. Got Italian snack breadsticks. Got a cheese spread jalapeno. Beverage base powder lemon lime. A spoon or garlic mashed potato insert and our flameless ration heater. And the hot beverage bag, so, all right. Now, of course, with all that, got our accessory kit, and it's a C, which means we're gonna have coffee, and we're gonna have Splenda, and we're gonna have cream. All right, so, moist towelette. All right, type three coffee, so we got some good stuff. We got iodized salt. Got the creamer, the Splenda, the cinnamon gum, and the ubiquitous lighthouse butt ration. So, well, let me get this stuff to heating up. We'll be back in just a moment. Take a look at this and see what everybody thinks. Okay, y'all. So, Got everything heated up, everything ready to go. As you can see, I've already went ahead and mixed up my drinks. Got a bit of a floater there with some of the powder. That's all right though. We know it clumps a little bit, but we got that nice neon green lemon lime. Got our coffee with the Splenda and the cream. Now, let's start here. Gonna open our garlic mashed potatoes first. Yeah, definitely a smell of garlic there. You can see them in the pouch. We're gonna put them right here. All right. And then beside that, we're gonna come back, drop our meatballs and marinara sauce. It surprises me that I have never had this one. I know Smokey raves about it, especially when it has the all gratin potatoes. So, I don't know why, I just, I cannot ever remember having the meatballs and marinara sauce meal. So, okay, we will deal with that. All right, now we also had the turkey nuggets. We'll see what these are. 
All right, and when we pull out and go in, all right, so this is pretty much like the Jack Link's beef jerky, just in a small nugget form. Well, come on now. All right, these are wanting to be a little bit of an irritation to open, so. Oh, kind of reminds me of the IMP beef jerky and the way it's packed. Honestly, those look more like prunes than turkey nuggets. But it is what it is. Now, we also had the Italian breadsticks. Now, these had a little bump in the back, so we're going to see how good and it. That's what I thought. Got a little bit of a spike there, but nothing we can't work with. All right. And we got our cheese spread with jalapenos. Which we're going to put right here on these breadsticks. We're going to set that right there. All right. Now. So since I have heard about how they are, first thing I'm going to try is some of the mashed potatoes by themselves. Yeah, those, they're bland and garlicky at the same time. I don't know how they managed to do that. I mean, it's like a real bland flavor on the tongue, but then you just get overwhelmed with garlic. So I'm going to tell you all my newest secret, thanks to my brother. He got me hooked on this, and I don't know whether to thank him or be mad at him. Italian... Classico seasoning. It's a mild seasoning. But this is some of the best stuff I have found. And it goes on everything. So we're going to see how it does. Mm. That's what it needed. That's exactly what it needed. Now, I had also saved back some of the cheese now that I've had that. So they're going to be good and spicy. All right. So now we got some cheesy flavored mashed potatoes. Got our lemon lime drink here. Tastes like it always does. A good lemon lime Kool-Aid. These turkey nuggets. I'm, I'm curious. I'm going to go with them next. There we go. Mmm. Tastes like the Jack Link's beef steaks, to be completely honest. So heavily seasoned, I wouldn't know it's turkey if you didn't tell me. All right. And we're going to split our breadsticks here. All right, let's try this. Let's try this piece right here without anything on it. Hmm. 
It's like the weak snack bread, but it's got something else in it. That's actually really good. I'm surprised. I was expecting something doughy like that normally, like the wheat nut snack bread normally is, but hey, these might actually go really good with this. Yeah. Hmm. That ain't too bad. All right, let's give these meatballs a try. Yeah. Uh, it's a good size meatball, so that's a positive thing. And you know, if they included the loaf bread like the Canadians used to have or like the Aussies have, you can make you a nice little roast uh, meatball sub here. Mm. Not bad. Tastes like a canned Chef Boyardee beef meatball. So I can work with that. Yeah, it's going to be a good lunch. Now, right, let's find out something here. Take a bit of this meat. Marinara sauce, sorry about that. Mmm, it's a good dunker. Not bad. All right. I'm going to get our coffee, of course. Mm. Good old fashioned type three. Not quite as good as type one, but it's good. And of course, for this dessert, we had an oatmeal cookie. And it is broken to high heaven, so I'm not even going to take it out of the pack. That needs a pack of spiced apples. I'm going to make you a nice little cobbler dish with that. That's not bad. Hmm. Got sweet and got spicy to it. So, well, folks, I'm going to eat lunch here. Um, so this is the meatball with marinara sauce with the 2016 still with the garlic mashed potatoes that definitely need some help. The breadsticks, which actually turned out to be pretty decent. The cheese spread, which I apparently heated up too much because it's starting to separate out a little bit, but it's still edible, still good. And those Jack Link's turkey nuggets, I'll pop them back in the bag and I'll snack on them later tonight. It doesn't really mix in well, but it'll be a good snack for later. So uh, I'm going to finish eating. Y'all have a good one. Mm -hmm.